be what we want to be because what we want to be, we want always to have been. When the wave spreads and the foam hisses, it seems at least a thousand voices speak. The foam seems novel only to those who judge it as one thing. Everything is many, and we know nothing. Would you like me to tell you the story of what I was dreaming by the sea? You can tell it, sister, but nothing in us needs to hear you tell it. If it's beautiful, I already foresee the sorrow of having heard it. And if it's not beautiful, wait. Tell it only after our turn. I'll tell it to you. <clears throat> it isn't entirely false because certainly nothing's entirely false. It must have been like this. One day, I found myself resting on the cold summit of a cliff, and I'd forgotten that I'd once had a mother and father, that I'd harbored within me a childhood and other days. And that day, I saw in the distance, like something I would only have imagined, the vague passing of a sail. Then it vanished. When I returned to myself, I saw that I already contained this dream. I don't know where it began, and I never went back to see another sail. None of the sails on the ships that come from these harbors re resemble that sail, even when there's a moon and the ships pass slowly in the distance. From the window, I can see a ship in the distance. Perhaps it's the same one you saw. No, sister, the one you see is bound for some harbor. It wasn't possible that the one I saw sought any harbor. so sharply. It could be. But I saw no ship from the window. I wanted to see one and I spoke to avoid suffering. Tell us now what you were dreaming by the sea. I was dreaming of a mariner who was lost on a distant island. On this island there were a few stiff palms, vague birds flitting among them. I couldn't see whether any had perched on the branches. The mariner had lived there since his shipwreck. Because he had no way to return to his homeland and suffered whenever he remembered it, he set out to dream a homeland he'd never had, to make it so that it was his and had always been. A different kind of country, with other landscapes, other people, other ways of walking down streets, of leaning out windows. Every hour he built in his dreams this false homeland, never ceasing to dream by day in the brief shade of the great palms that cast their beaked images on the hot sand, and by night, stretched on his back on the beach, heedless of the stars. May there never have been a tree that cast on my outstretched hands the shadow of a dream like that one. Let her speak. Don't interrupt. She knows where it's silence taught her. I'm going to close my eyes so I can listen to her. Speak, my sister, speak. My heart aches that I wasn't you when you were dreaming by the sea. For years and years, day after day, the mariner, in one continuous dream, constructed his new native land. Each day he added an imagined stone to his impossible edifice. Soon he had a country already many times traversed. He already remembered thousands of hours he'd passed along its coasts. He knew the usual color of twilight in the northern bay and what it was to glide late at night with one soul basking in the murmur of ship-parted water into a large southern port he'd once visited, perhaps happily, in his supposed youth. Sister, where have you stopped? One shouldn't speak too much. Life is always watching us. Every hour is the mother of dreams, but we must not be aware of that. When I talk too much, I begin to separate from myself and hear myself talk. I pity myself and feel my heart too sharply. Then. I have the hysterical desire to take it in my arms and rock it like a baby. Look, the horizon is paling. Morning can't be too far off. Do I need to tell you any more of my dreams? Yes, sister. Keep going. Don't stop. Pay no attention to the breaking day. The day never breaks when you lay your head on the breast of dream hours. Don't wring your hands. It makes a noise like a furtive snake. Tell us much more about your dream. It's so true that it makes no sense at all. The mere thought of listening to you touches my soul with music. Yes, I'll go on. I need to tell you this. In telling you, I'm also telling myself. All three of us will listen. <laughs> no, not three. I don't know. I don't know how many. Don't talk like that. Hurry and tell us more. Tell us again. S say nothing about who might be listening. We never know how many things are really alive, watching and listening. Go back to your dream, the mariner. What was the mariner dreaming? First, he created